Hello guys, this is Zhishan from Attack Revolutionist again and today we are going to take a look at the brand new RTX 2080 from Gigabyte. So this is actually the Gigabyte RTX 2080 Gaming OC 8G Edition. So the main difference uh, with this as compared to any other RTX 2080 graphics card is that this is actually factory overclocked right out of the box. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the different cooling features as well as its main specifications of this graphics card. So as you can see, um, it's actually called the beefy graphics card with three fans. On the reference design, the founders edition, there are only two fans. Some very interesting features of these fans is that in the middle fan, spins in the opposite direction as compared to the other fans in the sides. So the main reason of doing this is to ensure that they can disrupt the airflow uh, going to the main the base of the cut so as to better dissipate the heat away from the, the from the heat sink designs okay so this is something interesting um, actually this cut runs really cool we have already tested it out uh, you can actually see our full review on our website at techrevolutionist.com but the main thing is that these fans actually don't run most of the times at, at all because this cut runs so cool that the fans don't even need to spin in the first place okay let's take a look at the I.O. options of the card. Firstly, we have over here a display port, a HDMI port, another display port, a USB-C that supports virtual link. So this allows you to connect to your VR headset directly. And lastly, another display port right now of here. For power, this card requires a single 6-pin as well as a 8-pin connector. Um, Gigabyte actually recommends that you have a power supply of at least 650 watts to power this graphics card. So over here at the top, we can see a Gigabyte logo. This actually is lit up in RGB lighting, so you can actually control the types of color you want to see from the RGB Fusion software included inside the driver package. And you also have a SLI slash NV link interface over here. And of course, this card is connected to your PC via the PCI Express 3.0 x16 interface. So to just to give you a quick introduction to the specifications of this graphics card, it's actually factory workflow. So there are two profiles which you can set with the Aorus engine software inside. The first uh, profile is actually a gaming profile which runs at 1815 MHz, while the OC mode profile actually gives you a speed of 18. 30 megahertz. Uh, for both profiles, their memory actually runs at 14,000 megahertz. Based on our experience overclocking this card, we can actually reach a core clock of 1933 megahertz as well as a memory clock of 16,000 megahertz, which gives us a little bit of improvement in terms of our uh, frames per second in our games. So, this is a quick overview of the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2080 Gaming OC 8G graphics card. For more information, please read our full review at thetechrevolutionist.com or you can visit the link in the descriptions below. This is Zhi Cheng from the Tech Revolutionist and we will see you again next time.